Hey guys, today I'm going to talk and pretty much go into full rant mode, mainly because I am extremely pissed off at these people who keep doing the buyouts. I'm pretty sure we all know who they are. You can, I'm not going to acknowledge them because it would be promoting them. But essentially when cards get cheaper because of a reprint, something like Eternal Masters, what happens is a ton of people, in, in particular this group of people, they go out and they buy everything on the reserve list. This happened to Moat, this happened to pretty much any of the lands that are not port, and Lion's Eye Diamond. The problem with Lion's Eye Diamond, so there's two examples I can give you. I can give you Rishondon Port, which in my case, I think it's fine because eventually it will be reprinted. And, you know, there will be greater supply, which the coach just hasn't reprinted it for some reason, but you, they could. The problem is the reserve list. When someone increases the price of and does a buyout on a card on the reserve list, there's no hope. There's no hope of that card going down in price because it's not reprintable. There's not more supply of it. There cannot be added more supply of it. Now, of course, anyone with a basic math skills can figure out, hey, I should buy cards on the reserve list. And I, if I buy a ton of them, then the price goes up, price memory goes up, and I can make money. And that's what's happening with reserve list cards. The next buyout will be on dual lands. It has to be. Alliance Eye Diamond essentially is the artifact version of dual lands. It's the dual lands for the decks that don't run them. Storm, you know, it's Dreads, obviously. Dreads was a lot cheaper, and now all the money that you would have saved from Eternal Masters is gone, and that is very sad because it defeats the whole purpose of having Eternal Masters, a affordable format for people who wanted to play Legacy or get started in it. Uh, it's very sad, and I think it's a problem, and it's only going to increase more and more in time. I'm just very upset at this group of people. Like, I don't know why they keep doing this. Let cards be cheaper, and they know that when they do this to a reserve list card, that card's never going to go down in price because there's, there's never more of it than it is today. There's only less because of damage and loss and fires and catastrophes and things of that nature so the dual lands are next we'll see which one goes first i'm guessing it'll be a blue one 